Hello everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bench, and today we are benchmarking the Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2 with the dual core processor. It's an upgrade over the previous gen Galaxy S Duos. The phone has a 4 inch WVGA display. At the top, you have a VGA camera, some sensors, primary earpiece. At the bottom, you have the two capacitive buttons which light up, and the home key. Moving over to the left, you have the volume rocker and a metallic looking trim which runs through the entire device. Gives it a very premium look. On the right, you have the power lock and unlock button. At the bottom, you have the micro SD card slot, which is hot swappable. Painted in the same color as the metallic trim. Moving over to the back, it has a very nice matte finish to it. Makes it easy to hold to. You have the 5 megapixel camera with LED flash, Samsung logo, as well as the loudspeaker. The design, again, is classic Samsung. No change there whatsoever. Now, let's get to the hardware specifications. So you can see the model number right there, GT S7582 and the phone runs under 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. The display resolution is WVGA, that's 480 by 800 pixels. The phone has a dual core processor as you can see right there, that's 1.2 GHz. Moving over, you can see that the phone runs Video Core 4 graphics from Broadcom with OpenGL ES 2.0 support as well. Next up is memory. The phone has 768 MB of RAM, out of which 716 MB is available to the system and at present 122 MB is free. The phone as I said earlier has a 5 megapixel camera and it can take 720p videos at 30 frames per second. You also have a secondary 0.3 MP camera which can record videos at 640 into 480 pixels resolution. Well, that's a look at the camera. The phone has a 1500 mAh battery. Again, similar to the Samsung Galaxy S Duos. Now, there are some sensors in the device. Acceleration sensor, magnetic sensor. You can see that the proximity sensor is working. However, the phone does not have a light sensor. Now, let's begin with the benchmarking. First, we are running the Antutu benchmark. We are running the full benchmark, however, at a faster pace to get to the final results quickly. So we got an Antutu score of 12,111, which is great for this device. And it's a bit higher than similar offerings from Indian manufacturers. Now we'll run the Nina Mark 2 benchmark. It will test the Video Core 4 graphics. So we got a score of 54.9 FPS which is excellent and means game should be easily playable. Now we'll run the full quadrant benchmark. It will give us a consolidated score. Let's submit the scores. So the Galaxy S Duos 2 got a score of 3695 which is higher than the competition and just a bit lower than the Sony Xperia M. This is the Velamo benchmark and we are running the HTML5 chapter which will also run Sun Spider and V8 benchmark suit. So we got a Velomo score of 1524. Now we'll get a graph going. You can see for yourself in the graph that the phone is above the Samsung Galaxy Grand as well as the LG Google Nexus 4. Now we'll run the Metal benchmark. It will test the processor specifically. So we got a score of 429 on metal. We'll just submit that to get a comparison chart. Here too you can see that it's above the Samsung Galaxy Nexus as well as the Nexus 7 and Galaxy Grand and provides a consistent performance ratio. Now we'll run the Linpack performance test. This is the single thread version. So we got 45 M flops on single thread. Now we'll do the multi thread test. It's inconsistent. We'll do that again. So we got 73.3 M flops. For explanation of these scores, you can visit phonebench.com. Now this is the multi dash test. I have four fingers on the display, but it registers only two. So it's a two point multi dash display. Well, that was a look at the benchmarking and scores of the Samsung Galaxy S Duos 2, which is a huge upgrade over its previous gen where you had a single core processor and it ran Android 4.0 ICS. Although the design might seem a bit repetitive, 
But why would you want to reinvent the wheel for something that already works? It's not just that. The phone sits at a very good place in terms of price and performance and might just become the choice for the sub 10,000 rupees buyer. Well, that was our benchmarking review. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.